What's going on? Welcome to the Creator Factor, the number one creator chill spot for my fellow content creators who are building businesses and brands online. If we haven't met, if this is our first time meeting, allow me to introduce myself. I am your host that loves you the most, Ozeal, and my mission is to help elevate and transform your creator factor into making a positive influence, a positive impact with your message, with your, your brand. That's what we're about here. And I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually rocking a solo show today, no interview today, uh, because this is something that's timely and I believe that this can resonate with you as a content creator because I believe that we often overlook today's topic um, in this hustle and grind, fast moving pace, life culture that we're living in. And uh, what am I talking about, Ozio? What am I talking about? I am referring to uh, the importance of giving yourself grace and space as a content creator. Now, when we uh, talk about grace and space for content creators, I'm referring to the permission we give ourselves uh, to take a step back, right? To breathe and to accept that we're not AI machines. We're humans. And much like even machines need to be turned off from time to time uh, or else they're going to burn out, right? They need to be powered down just as well. And as humans, it's important for us to be able to make sure that we have that self-awareness where we can take a step back. And I believe this is where grace comes into play, right? It's about understanding that it's okay to not always be okay, to have days off. I know people online, you know, hashtag no days off, hustle, hustle, hustle. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot of motivational rah-rah. And I, I get that messaging. But for us content creators who are doing life, right, and, and we're putting in the work and we're crafting and we're building businesses and some of us are our parents, some of us have spouses, there's a lot that we have to deal with. And I'm here to just let you know that it's okay to be less than perfect, to have days off, hashtag days off. It's okay to have days off. And to, to understand that it's important for us to be able to be self-aware of the days in the months and sometimes a season when it's okay not to be okay. And, you know, we often feel the pressure, you know, for, for producing, for innovating, for creating, for always being on for ourselves and our audience, you know, for social media and often, unfortunately, for the people that really don't matter, you know, and I felt compelled to record this video and this audio, if you're listening to the audio version, because I want to be 100% real with you. All right. I've, I had a rough month in July. All right. Um, I lost a, a big client and uh, experienced a lot of stress and anxiety, a lot of headaches <laughs> uh, centered around that transition, you know, and I went into a really dark space, um, again, that was filled with a lot of, you know, self-doubt, you know, stress, anxiety, you know, was feeling all kinds of emotions after that transition. Not to mention that I lost a family member who was in the hospital day in and day out throughout the month of July. The last three weeks of July uh, were tough, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Um, you know, we were spending a, a lot of time at the hospital every day uh, until she took her last breath and got her wings. And, you know, I lost track of myself. You know, I, I, you know, lost track of spending time taking care of myself. Again, physically, I was not working out. I wasn't sleeping well. I wasn't eating well. It was a complete breakdown. And it was one of the worst months I've had in quite some time. And here we are. You know, it's, it's a brand new month. You know, August is here and it's taken me some, some time for me to reflect and, and count my blessings. And I simply just 
again, wanted to share this, this episode with you. If you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this, you know, just expressing my gratitude for, for my health and the loved ones that have been super supportive uh, for this, for new opportunities that are already emerging. Uh, this podcast, Creator Factor, has been therapy for me. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your love and support. I know I haven't shared much about my personal journey, and this podcast isn't so much for me to have this an episode filled with my therapy session here. But again, I feel like you as a creator, and for a lot of creators that are watching this or listening, you know, we all go through these dark seasons, you know, and it's, um, I wanted to, to record this just again, because it's timely, because I'm going through it. I'm like, what better opportunity time than to share this? Because you may need this medicine. There may be somebody who's watching or listening to this that may be going through a dark, dark season, and you may need to hear this. So even if you're not experiencing this, which I, I wish this, I, I hope that you had an amazing month in July, and I hope you're you're doing your thing and you're succeeding in what you're doing, you know, that that's what this is all about. But if you had a dark moment or if you, if we all go through it, right? It might, there's seasons, you might have a great high moment and then there's going to be moments where it's not going to feel great. I believe this will be an evergreen piece of content that could resonate with any content creator um, throughout the journey that, that we're on. So, I wanted to share with you three key reminders that I wrote down that will help you as a content creator give yourself space and grace um, during these dark moments. So reminder number one is the importance of taking time off. I know I, I alluded to that earlier, and uh, you may be in a space where you're experiencing burnout right now and you don't know how to manage emotions and how to deal with it. And, you know, the answer, what I find is giving yourself that space for ourselves. And what does that look like? And taking regular, you know, breaks, time off, you know, self-care routines. Um, you know, these aren't luxuries. These are necessities. And taking a step back, you know, doesn't mean that you know, you're falling behind. It doesn't mean that you're backtracking. It simply means that you're just pausing right now. You're pressing pause. And this is going to help you take a leap forward when this season, this dark moment passes. And, you know, you may need a vacation. You may need a weekend off with the family or for yourself. You know, it's about maybe incorporating short breaks and into your daily routine and, and breaking away from a routine. I know in July, my routine was completely derailed and there was a lot of anxiety centered around that because I was like, what is happening? I'm not working out on a daily basis. I'm eating like trash. What is happening? So I had to step away, you know, and assess what was happening. You know, I was when I had the space, I was writing a lot, you know, having a cup of tea, just spending some time by myself, having good conversations with the friends that were knowing that I was going through these dark periods uh, and, and this dark season. And they were also helping me out and checking in with me. And that was very therapeutic. And I appreciated that more than anything. Um, but it's about just creating a balanced rhythm, you know, and I think it's important for us to be able to, again, just be self-aware give yourself space just to take the time off because if you don't you end up having more anxiety more stress just a lot of toxic emotions that will weigh you down and we don't want to go down that path right so again take time off and just breathe and relax and wait until everything passes and then take a leap forward. So that's number one. Reminder number two is uh, embracing life's uncertainties. Look, life happens, you know. Um, it's been a while since I've had a month like this. And, you know, life can be relentless. 
I mean, it, it could be pretty rough on you. It could take the gloves off and just sucker punch you. And these days, you know, these are going to be days where we are not going to be able to create content that we may be off our game, especially for my solo content creators who don't have teams. You know, it's there's things that happen, right? Personal emergencies, um, an unexpected event, you know, losing a job, you know, during these times, I'm here to remind you that, again, it's okay to press pause. It's going to happen. You know, your audience understands and, and they appreciate your transparency because we're all going through it. There was a moment actually where I was thinking about, you know, not wh whether or not, because so much has been happening, whether or not I was going to be recording any content for this month. But I wanted to, I made a promise to myself and my audience to you to be able to show up, you know, even during these dark moments. And, you know, the podcast has been going great. I've, I've been, we've been, you know, got over a thousand downloads and thanks to you. And if you have been listening to the podcast, thank you so much for being a part of this journey early on and seeing so much success. But you know, I was like, I really want to continue with this momentum and I want to make sure that I share this message because somebody may need to hear this and, and, and catch the medicine that I'm trying to deliver here because you may be going through this again. And it's important to just put yourself first, you know, put yourself first, you know, we, we got to be in order to create quality content that's authentic, that's real. I mean, we got to we got to be in a healthy, happy state of mind, you know, and even now um, with so many things happening, I'm kind of getting back into the gym, eating a little bit better, have kind of a bit of a routine, not quite there yet. It's probably going to take me a minute for me to kind of, you know, really get optimal again, like I was before, but life is going to happen. Life is going to happen and it, it may be relentless and um, it's important for, again, to be able to embrace these moments of uncertainty. And even if you're having a, a, a high life, if you're having a high moment right now, I mean, things happen, right? Things are going to happen in life and we just have to be prepared to be adaptable, to be flexible. And again, give yourself space and grace um, as, a, as a creator. All right. So here is uh, reminder number three. And um, this reminder is letting you know that you are not alone, my friend, that, that you're not alone, that don't be afraid to, to ask for help, to lean on to your friends, um, your family, your, your spouse for your support. You know, you have people in your life that will pick you up, you know, people that will listen and provide you know you with with perspective if you ask but there are people there they're going to be there to listen and to check in with you and i know in my recent experience as i mentioned i had a few close friends that were calling me you know every other day on a weekly basis leaving me voice messages ozeal how are you doing checking in with you what's happening what can i do to help let's go out for dinner and i was able to to accept all of that and and uh, and be open. Usually, I'm kind of like, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good, you know. But I had to be honest with myself, and I think in this case, you got to be honest with yourself. You got to say, hey, it's okay. I'm not okay. I'm having a really bad month. You know, I lost my job. I did this. You know, I'm. You know, it's okay to just be completely transparent and just be real with yourself first and foremost, and know that you got to feel what you're feeling. You got to. And, but you don't have to do this alone. You know, I think when I find myself kind of hiding away, that's when I've noticed that I go darker, I go deeper and darker um, in, a, in places that I don't want to be at. And, but when you have great support system, like friends and family, I've noticed you're, you're able to see the light and, and you get to hear different perspectives and, uh, and be reminded of, of the things that are about to, you know, that that these are just seasons, you know, and that there are other things to be grateful for to move forward. So I, I wanted to share this 
and I can go on and on. I just I want to just be mindful and <laughs> I don't want to go on and on because I feel like there's a lot for me to to unleash. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear your input. If you're going through some a rough moment, feel free to to tag me at Ozeal Creates um, or comment in uh, in the show notes on creatorfactor.net or um, yeah, hit me up. You can DM me, you know, at Ozeal Creates and I'm here for you. I'm, I'm here to support you as a content creator. And uh, I know we can succumb to this pressure of society to always show up and be at 100% and you know meeting deadlines and, and content calendars and you know and and not and going on and on and on and, and on this hamster wheel not realizing that you deserve to give yourself space and grace when the time is needed okay your creativity isn't you know a faucet <laughs> that has to be on 24 7. you know sometimes it needs to be turned off to be replenished so you can spiritually grow and um, I just want you to remember that again, this is just, this is not a sprint. You know, sometimes, you know, these sprints uh, can burn you out pretty quickly. And as someone who is a content creator who loves these sprints, I find myself that that's what causes the most burnout for me. So uh, it's definitely a marathon. And as a marathon runner, there are going to be moments where they're going to question themselves, where they're going to be sweating. They're going to figure out, am I going to finish this race? And there's going to be some moments there, but it's the mindset. It's being surrounded around all the other marathon runners that uplifts the spirit and gets them to push through. And that's the beauty of, of using that analogy of the marathon because every, you're, you're every man or woman for themselves. But at the end of the day, we're trying to get to the same destination as we are as creators, right? We're trying to make a positive impact, make a positive influence. We're trying to accomplish something within our own, right? But sometimes, like me, <laughs> in July, I fell back. I went back, took a, a few steps back in the marathon. And I had to slow my pace. I had to give myself space and grace. But I'm watching and I'm seeing people around me that support me, that love me, that are there to uplift me. And now, the pace is picking up, okay? And it's not at full capacity, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I believe in the marathon. I believe in what I'm doing. I believe everything that I'm doing with Creator Factor. I believe in my talent. I believe in my skills just as you should too. You have a gift, my friend. You have a talent. You are a creator. You've been blessed to create. So you have the ability to be able to create your own lane, your own opportunities to attract new opportunities, new people, opening up new doors. You got this. You got this. And know that it's okay not to be okay. Know, okay, that it's okay to take some day offs. Take some time off. It's it's all right. Why? Because you know exactly what you need to do to get back on track. And that was a reminder that I had to tell myself. I have all that I need to succeed. You have everything you need to succeed. And even if it takes time to kind of step back. Okay. Don't call it a comeback. Hello, Cool J. <laughs> we'll be back. I got it. I got this. As long as you have your health, as long as you have great people around you, as long as you are aligned with your goals and your dreams and your ambitions, and you have that clear vision of where you want to go, nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stop you. So I, I hope, I know I got a little deep on this one. <laughs> so sorry, but I, I feel like actually not going to apologize <laughs> because again, this could be your medicine. This could be something that you need to hear today. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode on Creator Factor. And uh, if you found value in this discussion, please share it with a, a fellow content creator who may be going through a dark time right now, a dark moment. 
and, um, you know, shared with, with them, you know, I'm here to support, you know, I'm going to have more content like this. I have more interviews to come. I got a lot of great, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback from the previous episodes. If you have not, if this is your first time tuning in or watching you, me on, on YouTube, go back to, um, episode one. And this is episode six. So go back to the previous episodes. They're all super dope, super valuable. I've been enjoying all of the conversations I've been having. I'm going to be recording more solo shows because I actually had a couple of friends. It's like, hey, we want you to kind of share your journey. And when I went through this in July, I was like, it's a no brainer. I, I got to share this with my people, my, with my creators. So um, thank you again for being part of the Creator Factor. If Again, if you are enjoying the show, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify to uh, leave a rating and review. We'll love to hear from you and leave your, your, your name so I can tag you on social. And uh, thank you so much again for tuning in. And uh, whatever I can do, feel free to reach out. Know that you are loved. Know that you got this. You got this, my fellow creator. All right. Um, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, like, hit the notification button so we can stay updated on all the latest content. I'm going to be posting a lot of shorts, a lot of content. I'm going to be releasing a course, a lot of really fun things, fun tools and resources for my fellow content creators. So thank you again for being a part of this journey. Uh, my name is Ozeal of Creator Factor signing off. Remember to give yourself permission to own your zeal and give yourself space and grace. Mm -hmm.